Well, uh, it's a long time since uh, I first heard Frankie Goes to Hollywood. We'll remember the videos on Top of the Pops, etc. And all the business about um, Relax being banned and Mike Reed making a hoo-ha about it, which made it even bigger record. And then, of course... Um, <laughs> Trevor Horn kept remixing it or just changing it slightly or putting it in a different package and it went on and on and on and on and on. It was in charts, number one for God knows how long anyway. I don't know the statistics. But anyway, I'd forgotten that I'd got this in my collection. Uh, welcome to the Pleasure Dome. And I don't know how I came by this anyway. There we have it. I thought that that probably would slide off. And when I look at the front cover, it's got a sort of uh, Picasso touch about it. People have said, don't be stupid. But it has. I think it has as well. And the painting on the back that's depicted there. Uh, on here, uh, it was it, it, um, on ZTT Records. 1984 and this is di distri distributed by Repertoire Records which I think they're in Germany I had something sent from uh, Repertoire years ago it's got on it uh, The World is My Oyster uh, including a well Snatch of Fury, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome Relax, War, Two Tribes Tag, Fury Born to Run uh, San Jose uh, Wish the Lads Were Here, The Ballad of 32, Crisco Kisses, Black Knight, White Knight, no, White Light, sorry, uh, The Only Star in Heaven, The Power of Love, uh, Bang, Bonus Tracks, 1 September uh, Monday, and the final one, 1 February Friday. T to me, I think that's all I'd ever need because it's got all their classic tracks. Now, uh, I did read the other week that they would um, or they were reforming and they did a concert, I think, at the Pierhead in Liverpool and there's some talk about uh, a new album being recorded or maybe it has already been recorded. I've not seen it about. The videos, I thought, were, were, were amazing, some of them. A couple maybe a little bit near the knuckle, but there you go anyway. You've got to keep an open mind. Uh, hot, glad to see that Holly Johnson is still about anyway and he's still interested in music and one thing and another um, great great singing voice anyway I don't know so much about speaking voice but I like to hear him singing anyway nonetheless but they really did have a golden time for a period in the 80s didn't they some, uh, some brilliant records and they're on this CD, so I don't need to spend any more money. Not unless I find out that this new album is something stupendous and that I must have it, but I don't think that's going to happen anyway. OK, maybe you're a Frankie fan. Uh, that's all I can tell you about it, really. Uh, you see this about quite often, and I understand that there's um, a three CD um package of various songs and theirs etc on a, a budget thing that you see on Amazon it's about um, I think they're usually about 5.99 6.99 something like that so maybe that's worth exploring if you want to have a little bit more than what's actually on this okay thanks for watching and uh, if you've enjoyed it click a like or even hit the subscribe button because it's nice to have you around thanks very much have a great day. Bye now.